begins things here in Wilkinson. The season's underway here at Wilkinson Hall. Ramsey Gary with a nice dig, playing short now. New Hampshire looking to calm things down. Nice block, but it stays. The rebound and the first point goes to Indiana as Avery Tatum taps it over the net. As they capture the first point of this contest, we're playing best three out of five. First to 25 for the first four sets. On the far side, there's Maddie Saris. New Hampshire, likewise, off the block. Indiana able to keep it alive. Nice dig, but no, it's actually not dug out. Eski Karbalut dove, laid out, but could not keep that ball from touching the hardwood. Kelly Kaufman checks into the game for the Wildcats. New Hampshire to serve for the second time. What a kill by Kaylee Ramelsberg. She is on fire in the early stages of this one. Now here she is to serve. Jump serve, finds the middle. New Hampshire looks for the kill and they pick it up. It looks like that was Jessica Shadows who picked up that one. New Hampshire looking for the equalizer off the block. They keep the play going. And that was well placed by New Hampshire's front row, it must be said. I think Indiana was anticipating a little bit more power on that one. Ezgi Karablut now to serve. One of three Turkish natives in this match. From the far side, looked like Avery Tatum wanted to send that ball through the floor, but she couldn't quite get it over the net. To the far side for Saris, off the block, it's out of bounds, and Indiana takes set one by a final score of 25 to 20. She's the first Spanish player in Indiana volleyball history. This one's got to go over. And this time, the net benefits New Hampshire. That one was just tipped over. A nice save by the front row. It does seem like there have been a lot of unforced errors for the Wildcats. Savannah Colheed serves now. Opposite side. What a block by Saris. She can do it all. And again, Lepore as the Wildcats try to claw back. Going at Gosnell again. To the opposite side, they want Saris, but a nice block by two Wildcats. Rachel Greer and Meredith Honebaum team up. You know, serves to go your way. It's Cameron Hayworth right here. Hayworth, the southpaw, that powerful topspin jump serve. But New Hampshire with the free ball is able to tuck it in on the near baseline, the near sideline, my apologies. Indiana back with the serve. Here's Gary. And they go at her again. They'll say that one touched the hardwood, and New Hampshire is back to within five. Looking for Blackjack, number 21. What a tip over the net by 24 and Gray. Marissa Armour again. And New Hampshire's MO has been going right at the libero Ramsey Gary. This time they go for Saris. She handles it no problem. Here's Corsellis. To the far side. And another perfectly placed kill from Meredith Honebaum. New Hampshire with their backs against the wall. Going at Gary again with the serve. Here's Saris for the set. Nice block by the Wildcats. Saris, part two. Again off the block. Another battle at the net. It goes out off New Hampshire, and Indiana takes set number two. This one a little bit more decisively, 25-18. She leads all players in this match with nine kills, and there's an ace. Indiana to serve now. Another fantastic block by Colhe. And again, she goes back to that opposite side. That's an ace for Colhe, the 14th ace of the match for Indiana. It ended up going in the favor of New Hampshire, but Gary was there. Alyssa Wright serving again at Gary. A little misdirection. Looking for Corsellis. That one hits the hardwood. Gary laying out to try to dig it out, but some great blocking by New Hampshire. When well, you see it again, now for the third set in a row in crunch time, New Hampshire settling in. Perhaps a little bit too late for their own liking. Corsellis into no man's land, and she drives it home. Hagopian. New Hampshire trying to stay alive, but fantastic blocking from Savannah Colheed. 
gives Indiana its first win.